When someone says vampire, what is it that comes to your mind? If you love English literature, maybe Bram Stoker's Count Dracula. If you love teenage angst, then Edward Cullen. No judgment here. But let me tell you about another kind of vampires. Thousands of light years away from us, I'm talking about vampire stars. They get the name because they drain the life from their companion stars by feasting on them like a vampire. Science has known this for a while now, but now a new study is out. It says a third hidden star is involved in this equation. And this could change everything we know about how stars evolve. Our next report tells you more. For scientists, social interaction is always intriguing, whether it's on Earth or in space. Yes, space is full of cosmic relationships. We aren't talking about aliens here, but stars. Many stars tend to live in pairs. More than half the stars in the sky have a partner. But then being single is great too. And stars know this. So many prefer being alone, like the sun. But then there are some stars who don't fit into either of these well-behaved categories. Some stars are insidious and parasitic. They'd rather be in a situationship, if you know what we mean. Like the BE stars, which are fondly and appropriately called vampire stars. These stars were discovered over a century ago, but much of their existence remains a puzzle. Here's what we know so far. These stars can be several times the size of our sun. They spin very fast. This motion attracts gaseous materials towards them, which turns into a superheated belt of spinning material that the star fashionably wears in its midsection. It sounds kind of cool, but this is also the scary part. This gaseous belt the star so fondly dons is actually made up of other stars, and that's where the vampire bit comes in. A vampire star attracts other smaller stars, then devours their atmospheres. It rips through them with its speedy spinning motion. It drains the star and sucks it in, then collects the material in its gaseous disk. So if you thought you were in a toxic relationship, think again. This star is literally devouring its companions and wearing their corpse with a sadistic fashion sense. But that's not all. A new study is out. It says these stars might have helpers, kind of like wing persons. The study says vampire stars aren't working alone. There are hidden, traitorous stars that push other stars towards the vampires, supplying the vampire stars with victims to dine on. So vampire stars may thrive in triple star systems. Experts say this study could be a breakthrough in stellar physics. It can help us understand how stars die, which in turn will contribute to the study of how black holes are formed. All in all, it can help solve a number of cosmic mysteries and help us know more about stellar sucking vampires. After all, in the case of vampire stars, it seems three's a company and not a crowd. <laughs>